here we are the weekend toy hunt i'm a day later than normal this time guys usually out on saturday we're out on sunday this time because my brother and i worked all day yesterday and kelly yeah throw kelly in there she like sat there with us the whole time we finished my man cave so yeah man collects hurting a little bit but hey the hunt has to go on let's go uh still got the same big turtles up there in last week we got some retros there though coronations i don't i'm sorry guys i need to learn this thing what's this one? Oh, it's megatron that's pretty cool legacy evolution armada universe megatron god i love megatron they turn into the tank oh that's pretty neat I don't think I've seen Megatron. If I've seen Megatron, I haven't realized it. Who's that? Galvatron. Coronation Starscream. When I was a kid, I had the old Megatron, the one that turned into the pistol that caused controversy. <laughs> Saw another toy hunter, Yukon Phil. He got he picked up that uh, retro. No, it's vintage Megatron. That thing was pretty sweet. He's got one in box. Ninja Elite Shredder, okay. Of course, I was thinking maybe they were on clearance, but thirteen fifty would actually be a price increase. And they got Baxter at the Wazoo. Wingnut, Genghis, okay. The King of the Rats. Let's still not be out. Still got Flash stuff up there. Uh, oh, guys, I can see the multiverse. I don't know if you can see it. That box right there has got the Flash movie and Batman on it. What's the odds of them having a Keaton Batman? That is one figure I've found it maybe three times. I found Batfleck plenty of times, but oh, that is Batfleck. Okay, I can see it from here now. And I got a bunch of uh, multiverse in. See what they got here in a second. Again, they, want, they got some Marvel Legends, it looks like, but they got some of the older wave. I haven't even seen Puff Adder at this Walmart. Oh, that Crusader Batmobile. That thing's awesome. I started doing some little shorts and I laid them at the end. Batman's Bad Day. I did one of them where he was in this Batmobile trying to fight Doomsday. <laughs> Alrighty, let's start digging into this and see what we got. In our multiverse, Gladiator Batman, Dark Detective, David Duchovny. We got a Flash from the Flash movie. We got Gladiator, Shazam. There is Dark Flash. There's the Bat Flick that I spotted from down there. Let's hang him here. And we got that Endless Winter Batman, Captain Adam. Not Captain Adam, what's his name? Adam Smasher. Gladiator, Batman, those are all Duke Thomas, John Kent, Shazam, Signal, got Robin, and Batman fighting the Frozen. That's a cool looking figure. Slide him right back in there. Still no Batgirl. I don't know why I can't find Batgirl. There's Robin, he's pretty cool looking too. That's an awesome little figure line. Alright, so there's Batflick. Cyclone. There's a Kingdom Come back in there. There's, and they got all the Flash figures, but Keaton. There's Flash in the bat suit. And you got a Signal and Kingdom Come laying on their back guy in there. Let's actually put these up here. I'll help Walmart out a little bit. My man collects volunteer work. This is a cool one. I thought I've got this one. I didn't take it out of the box, but I've got that one. I actually got that whole wave. Well, I take that back. I, there's one on McFarlane Toy Store. It's a, uh, not this Flash, the movie Flash there. It's a variant where he's got split up for Speed Force or whatever. Didn't grab that one. Duke Thomas, Solar Suit, Solar Suit. Here's the Kingdom Come. You got Shazam. Dark Detective. Oh. Check that out, a Keaton Batman. I think this is the first time I ever found it in a Walmart. That's awesome. I've got to watch this movie just for him. I'm hoping it'll be streaming soon. 
We're gonna take a picture of that. Here, we'll put him up here with the bat flick. I gotta say, guys, I'm kind of sad that Ben Affleck's not gonna play Batman anymore. I thought Ben Affleck did a great job as Batman. I mean, granted, that figure doesn't look crap like him. That's still a cool looking Batman figure. A Keaton Batman in Walmart. How awesome is that? They got the whole wave here. No, they don't have Supergirl. I didn't see Supergirl. This hunt's starting out good already. Johnson City, Walmart, West Market Street. There's a Kingdom Come. They have got a Keaton. If anyone's looking for it, I've already got all I wanted that figure, so it's staying on the shelf. Uh, I got Captain Adam. Two of those. I don't see Vampire Superman, though, so no Vampire Soups. Uh, still our usuals down there. They got that Point Dread and Talon Fighter. Raven. And Nightwing up there. Oh, no, guys. I feel a sneeze coming. I'll be right back. I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry about that. Whew. Uh. <laughs> I had one video. I had to sneeze, so I stopped talking while I was recording. It's kind of stopped on something like that. And I sneezed, and I sat there for a few more seconds. But when I edit this, I'll remember I did that, and I'll go in and edit that out. Well, I had to edit it in a hurry, and I completely forgot about it. And someone had made a comment and put a timestamp on the video you know, bless you. <laughs> as soon as I saw that, I was like, what are they talking about? And I watched the video back. I was like, oh my lord, I can't believe I didn't edit that out of there. It was so rude. Uh, these little figures here, guys. Anybody know if Jax is going to do any more of those? The last time I checked their website, I didn't see anything, but it's been quite a while. Kind of hoping they continue that little figure series. Those are really nice for $10. Uh, we're looking for the Motu Moss Man. I forgot to mention what we were looking for. I would love to have that Walmart exclusive Moss Man. I still got the one I had from back in the day. I think I mentioned on a previous video, man, that thing stinks. I'm kind of curious to see what the new one smells like. There's another Captain Adam. I'm not seeing Moss Man. I think it's like 39 bucks. I don't even see a tag that would be for it. There's nothing in there. Still got plenty of snake eyes and timber. We got our retro card Joes, the same old, same old. And our two enormous stacks of movie figures, plus more here on the shelf. But hey, they did have the rock and roll and shipwreck here a while back, so I can't say too much. All right, everybody. So we'll go ahead and look at die cast since we're back here. There's not a lot of people in the store today, so. I just had to sneeze again and turn it off. Oh, we got Tech Deck. I just said that so much, started walking towards me. <laughs> what have we got here? We got that little green Ford Roadster, the Dotson. That thing is the third one up there. Oh, hands going to sleep. I gotta stretch it out a little bit here. Man did too much physical labor yesterday. He ain't used to that. Uh, Superman Ford truck still down there. All kinds of Jada, Star Wars, the Batman stuff. Uh, let's sneak on down towards the end here. There's those Turtle Power dump trucks. A little four pack of Disney cars. I saw that in Bristol Target, or Bristol Target, Bristol Walmart. Oh, now this is cool. Used to TMNT, Shell Rider, Trick City. What is that? Do they have that? I had to walk back up and glance at the turtle stuff. I don't think they had that. Collect them all. So none of them really look like the party wagon or anything. So these little things are hitting in force now. These little race reverse. Does that go with some kind of cold? Oh gosh, I don't know if you heard my knees cracking, but that hurt. Spidey man. I've seen the Black Panther. I'm not sure if I've seen Spidey or not. Monster truck. I think the wheels on that one look really cool. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see that what that Ninja Turtle thing goes with. We're going to take a gander back up the 
eats the turtle stuff just to see if they might have that. Man, look at the, oh, there it is. I thought that was the Hot Wheels. I was like, oh my Lord, they have been cleaned out. What do we have here? Got a purple Batmobile. What's this one? That's pretty cool. Yeah, there you go. The man can't pronounce that. I don't have my glasses to even really see what it says, but I can see a whole lot of letters. All right. We're going to take a quick dan dan dander. Yeah, we're going to take a dander. We're going to take a gander down the Lego here. Man's at the name worst throwing only 14 bucks. Yep. Oh, whew. That thing was cool. I started to buy it, but it was 100 bucks. Went down to 75 at Walmart for a while. And now that's Iron Man Armory. I don't know. That's still 100 bucks. Okay. The Ant Man built a figure. I like to have that. Venomized Groot looks cool. I'll probably pass on that one. I do want that little Technic Lamborghini. I still want that, um, I forgot what it was called. I see it up there though, so. I think it was my, it wasn't a McLaren. Luke built a McLaren. Oh, uh, we got any poly bags? We don't. These things do. I'll probably end up, they're $15 or $16 a piece. But there's a good chance I'll end up buying some. I love those little mechs. They're not as good as they used to be. They changed the hip joints on them, but they're still fun. Oh, there's Batman. Batman will be purchased at some point. What else we got? There it is, that's the one. Bugatti, that's what it is. All right, guys, let's go see. Oh, that's cool. Is that on? Star Wars Dark Trooper. I wish they put the set numbers on there, but that's pretty cool. Dark Trooper attack. Mr. Skywalker getting ready to come in there and clean the house. That thing right there is awesome. 100 bucks for 1,100 pieces. I will most likely buy that. Not today. Just a spoiler alert, but it will be purchased at some point. Now, let's go over here to these turtles. Oh, there's a wrestling gun cap. That's about dwindled down to nothing. All right, let's take a look here and see if we can find. Any kind of rock and raceway. I didn't see anything the first time, but then I kind of just looked at those figures and passed over it. Well, I don't see anything. This big turtle end cap is up the way here. I might look at it. But for now, I think we're going to head to collectors, see what we can find there. If I do find anything, I will show it to you. If I don't, then I'll see you at mm, probably Target. Okay, the collector section here at this Walmart is usually, it kind of sucks, to be quite honest with you. But the last few times they have had, boom, turtles. They had Mike and Raph last time. They got Leo and Donnie this time. Check those out. 89 movie turtles, sweet. To me, these are some of the, as far as being accurate to the movies and it's looking like they just walk right off the screen, these turtle fingers by NECA are absolutely beautiful. And these things are in great shape. Both boxes are in really good shape. Both of them are Leo and Donnie. Then you got Casey and Raph there. Two pack. But yeah. Don't have anything else in collectors, but man, they got some hitters here in these turtle two packs. But I did want to show you the turtles here. We're going to sit up here and take a picture of them. Because we might use those for the, you guessed it, thumbnail. All right, guys. That's all for this Walmart. I'll see you at Target. Target, Johnson City, you've been open for about three minutes. So let's run in here and see if we can find anything on your shelves. We've already found Ninja Turtles NECA. We've already found a Keaton Batman from The Flash. So hey, maybe that Blue Beetle is waiting on me in here. Let's go see. They have changed the layout back here some, which is good in a way, but bad in there. They don't have any multiverse. They got the Dark Knight Returns wave there, except for Batman. Yeah, you got the big Carapax there from Blue Beetle. And the Joker with the tab tore off. Blue Beetle right there is probably, that's probably that of the movie. Yep, no McFarlane here at all, man, that sucks. We got Rock and Roll. Three of him. Uh, X-Men stuff. 
Who we got up here? We got Cyclops and Cyclops. And then we've got... Actually, man, there's which is Sunday. I said everything got wiped out yesterday. I think I do have the Blackbird there, though, and the Wolverine call. I picked up the Blackbird. It's not the, I don't call it the Blackbird. I call it the X-Team x, -Team x but... I mean, after what this is, it's meant, it's not meant, this is not meant for collectors, guys. This is meant for kids. It's pretty cool. $34.99. I don't really know how much I like paying that for it, but I did. Oh, they got the Daredevil. The Elector Daredevil is pretty cool. And then Ben Riley's, and we got Jessica Drew, Spider Woman up there. Let's take a look at that. Electra. That one I like. I bought Ben Riley in that wave. I'm not going to buy any more. I think there's a tarantula in this wave too. I'd like to have this one. I'd like to have tarantula. But we're going to try the long game in it. The big bat wings down there are gone too. Makes me wonder if they clearance them finally. That thing was on clearance here for $12.50. I don't know what it is now. I hope we got back here in video game stuff. And the new Mario figs. And there's Peach and Cat Mario. And there's Toad, Ouija, Peach. There's Kamek. I think he's a cool one. I'll probably get Kamek at some point. Or Kamek, however how people want to say it. I like where she comes with the blue shell. And there's Cat Mario. That's a beefy figure. And we got Bowser. What else we got down through here, everybody? There's the pole that Man Collects didn't run into. <laughs> I hear a cart. Okay, I don't think it's come down this way. What have we got here on the old clearance shelf? Still got some AEW figures there in the Isle of Rose. Uh, who have we got here? Too bad for $16.50. see anything else nothing on that one and then down here uh, Tony's what is that I thought it was Christmas ornaments for a Tony box huh they know what this stuff is do some research on that looks like Disney stuff Oh, there's a little box. I guess it plays music. I don't know. It's not got my curiosity peaked enough to actually look at it. Ooh, we got some wrestling. I haven't seen this AJ Styles before. That's pretty cool. That's that Rick Rue build a figure wave. I've seen that whole wave now. That Ultimate Warrior. Oh, I actually got him here. That's a cool looking warrior. So we got Styles, Becky Lynch, Drew McIntyre. There's Becky. They got Drew. I don't think they got Drew. I almost had the whole wave. Just in case we need fodder for the thumbnail. So far I've got a Keaton Batman picture, Ninja Turtles, and these wrestlers. <laughs> yeah. Chris Statlander, Trent, Chuck Taylor. Okay. Oh, they got Ram Man. Oh, they got some Motu. They got some Motu. Whiplash. That's the one I saw the other day that I couldn't remember his name. And this one right here is cool. This is one I would mind. If that does come on clearance, I'll probably buy a Ram Man. He was one of my favorites from back in the day. Oh, and I got this baby again. The big ad ad. Oh, they do have Clawful. Cool. Lawful and Ram Man. Take pictures of both of them. <laughs> Let me quit doing a little stupid laugh. <sighs> I think this is about going to wrap up this section, guys, because we're going to answer the die cast here really quick. And then check these end caps and make sure I didn't overlook a blue beetle again. Trying to look a little more thorough this time before I just determine there's nothing here. That thing right there is awesome looking. 83. Yeah. 
What else we got? I haven't watched NASCAR in a long time, but it looks weird seeing that color scheme on that number and not being Jeff Gordon. Oh, look at the Bugs Bunny. Oh, do they have the supernatural? Oh, they got the supernatural car. I haven't seen this. The Impala and Dean. Anybody ever watch Supernatural? I liked that show when it first came out. I didn't watch the latter seasons. I wonder if it pops the trunk open. It's got like a little insert of weapons. And it's got a place where it goes back there. Like a couple maybe in there. Supernatural was a cool show. If I collected die cast, that would be coming with me. Um, I see one more thing here that looks new we're going to look at before we sign off. These Avengers ones. There's a War Machine, Camaro. Another War Machine, Cap, Harley Quinn. It's kind of cool seeing Winter Soldier getting ripped. Alright everybody, let's see if we can find some Lego poly bags before we sign off of this section. Uh, let's take a look down here at these end caps, like I said, just to make sure there's not a random beetle sighting. And some retro turtle storage shells and a crank. There's a sexy shredder and bebop, okay, cool. Started to say all they've got is storage shell, but that would not have been an accurate statement. Alright, let's take a look down on this one. There's Dr. Teeth. No blue beetle. They got some multiverse back in collectors now, so they might have it there. There's a disco thing down there. I haven't seen that before. On Lego. They got one of the Batman sets. There's the Build-A-Figure Batman. Oh, that visitor center there is awesome. That is cool. I got some new Lego sets here. Land Rover Defender, but I don't see any poly bags. All right, everybody. That's going to do it for the main toy. I've been rambling on for eight minutes now. We're going to make our way down now to um, uh, collectibles. Yeah, I don't say electronics, but hey, that's where it's at. If I see anything there, I'll show it to you. If not, then I will see you at the next. We are approaching collectors. Man collects and collectors. Man collectors. <laughs> Ooh, they got a Friday the 13th Part 3. This is one of the cooler covers to these. Anybody's not familiar with these movies, this was back in the 80s. When 3D technology first came out, and this movie has got all kinds of like, well, you can tell they staged it for 3D. It's like, say, this is a knife. He'll have, he'll show him take the knife up and stop it, and then he'll stab or he'll stab at the camera. <laughs> awesome! I remember watching that when I was a kid, thinking that was like the greatest technology in the history of mankind. You had to wear those glasses with the blue and red lenses that would give you a headache after a while. It's great. Well, they still make those old 3D glasses and stuff that's actually compatible with them. That's the first thing I thought when 3D started coming back in movie theaters. I was like, man, that's going to kill people's eyes. But I didn't know they actually, I should have thought they probably greatly improved the technology, which they did. Who Tones and Renette's, Renee or whatever her name is. I can't tell if this has been stocked or not, guys. I'm not really looking for anything NECA right now to dig through. I uh, don't have anything on clearance in cast back here, do we? We do up there. It's like the same old stuff, though. We'll check it when we get up there anyways. Oh, I didn't see Freddy. Oh, that's a pretty cool looking Freddy. I don't have a Freddy. I've always meant to get Freddy and Michael Myers, at least one of them. One of each of them. To go with my Jason figures. But I haven't gotten one. Oh, they got part seven. Part 7, Jason. That's the best one, in my opinion. Part 6. Oh, man, they got all kinds of them. They got 3, 4, or they got 3, 5, 6, and 7 so far. Let's must have another restock here. I got a Blue Beetle Pop on it. Oh, that glows in the dark. 
you watched my channel before you know the man come out he a sucker for something that was in the dark there's more flashes is flash stuff having one more stand in stores i say that i've only seen that one restock but i see a lot of people on youtube and facebook finding more of the flash mcfarland's the multiverse i was hoping to have beetle back here that's all earth 2 batman they got some new batman 66 uh, what else we got here we're lingering too long I get moving people want to see the toys they don't want to hear you ramble so we've got the batman with the mouthpiece we got the robin with the respirator we got batgirl what else is coming in this wave i don't know if this wave or the next one's going to have the superman i'll probably pick up that george reeves superman are these all robin those are all Robin the Boy Wonder. These things are clearance bound one of these days. And I hope I can grab one. What else we got? I'm not overlooking anything, Emma. Scanning with my eyes. Scanning with my eyes. They got everything they had down through here. They cleaned up this target a lot. They got reorganized and redone pretty good in a lot of places. And again, it's Sunday. I'm sure I missed all the really good stuff yesterday. But like I said, I'm glad to have my little man cave building thing. Pretty much, I got to still put shelves in it and, of course, put all my crap in it. But hey, the ceiling's in. It's insulated. Power sucked up. Floor's down. Walls are paneled. Everything's, like I said, insulated and cleaned up. So oh, the hard part's over. But we'll take a look at that in another video. I will be showing that thing off when I get it fixed up fully. Well, that's going to do it for Target, guys. I think we're going to head to a Walmart now, so I will see you there. Here we are, Kingsport Walmart. It looks like it's getting ready to come a very good little rain shower here. So, man, collects probably get soaked trying to get back out of here. But, hey, let's go in here and see if we can find us a Moss Man. Found Vampire Superman here last weekend. So, let's see if we can find some Motu Walmart exclusive this morning. Let's make us a quick run through here because it looks a little bare just from looking here. Uh, we got turtles, storage shells, ganguses, wing nuts, and screws loose. So Spider-Man got some more turtles, retro turtles up there. And they got the Wolverine Claw now for X-Men. Don't see the X-Jet or any Sentinels. And none of the figures, at least yet. I got the Wolverine mask. Uh, we got a bunch of multiverse here. That uh, looks like all Batman Black of Snap. There's that three pack with Dark Side, Superman, and Batman. That's pretty cool. Then we have this thing. One of the viewers asked me if I'd seen these when I thought about them. I mean, they're pretty cool. Don't know if I'll end up getting any of them or not, but they do look neat. Those are 20 bucks. Let's see, we got some up there. Death Storms, Future States. There's another one up there. You take care of yourself, Let's see, we got Batman, Future States, Rebirth, Future State, Future State. Uh, they got the Killer Croc kid here. They got a Captain Adam. But they've sold out all the other Vampire Superman and everything is gone. I'm glad we grabbed one last year. A bunch of superpowers up there. And we still got the same wave on the shelf. I gotta watch these. I may have said this at the last one. Uh, someone posted pictures on Facebook. They found those for $5. So they've been to like three Walmarts in the same area. And only one of them had that. So we're definitely going to be watching those superpowers bat wings today. So let's see. Here's our Motu. I don't see it up top. I actually don't even see a spot on the shelf for it. So, yep, no moss, man. That kind of sucks. Oh, we got some Joes, though. We got Rock and Roll, and we got Shipwreck. So that's pretty cool. I picked up Shipwreck. I have not picked up Rock and Roll. I'm hoping I don't live to regret that. And then we got the same old retro cards. There's my Batman. Someone set up there to feature on a shelf very prominently. And 
and then the usual stuff here all right let's take a look and see what else we can find if i do see something i'll show it to you if i don't i will see you if i don't see you again here i'll see a target next we are going to scan lego because people's getting new lego stuff ah, that is pretty cool i gotta say 50 bucks is that how much it is 70 actually look at that that was 55 let's get the glare off of them is that an indication lego's coming down a little bit here you got 110 for 900 pieces but look at the mini i like this set look at the mini figs you get spider-man you get the three spider-men dr strange mj ned green goblin electro and doc ock i mean you get some awesome mini figures look at the goblin some great mini figures come with that one i actually for 110 i like it better than the quinjet more pieces more figures only ten dollars more okay oh wait <gasps> yes yes they got it oh man and i hear the rain just started outside so we're gonna have to take our time in here now oh yes all right that is awesome poly how many pieces is this little thing 40 pieces Batman returns Potman poly bag <laughs> what else we got not seeing anything else here in Lego we're going to look at but, oh man I can't believe I got that poly bag that's awesome they do have a butt ton of stock boxes there but there's employees all over them I may try to take a little gander at them if I can see what's in them and if I do see anything I will film it for you if I don't I'll probably see you back in collectors and oh yeah if you can hear that or not guys that's the rain <laughs> once again the man collects braving the elements to get in here and get you some toy hunting goodness let's head into kingsport target let's go see if they still got a blue beetle we had it last week and i missed it let's go see if i can get lucky target are they going to be on target today let's see transformers they got big bat wings here there's that four pack see some blue beetle movie figures there oh look those little four inch figure people like to see oh let's just go back cameras on them again cameras on them again <laughs> that thing i didn't film it in the clearance section eight dollars at that king sport on fort henry drive but the box is kind of smashed but anybody who wanted that thing the out of box collector and that eight dollars is a, not a bad price oh uh, they got the flash that little flash movie wave not movie, but flash figure wave there. So far, no beetle. And there's Hazmat and Duke Thomas. Nothing sitting there behind anywhere. I got some Dusties. And we got Rock and Roll. So, seeing some G.I. Joes again. And it may scan the big bat wing too. I got a, those were all gone at the other target. Makes me wonder if they're on clearance. They got some more Blue Beetle figures down here. Let's see. They got the regular Beetle and Battle Mode down here. And then we got Fulcrum, Fulc, Fulcrum Abominus. That one's pretty cool looking, actually. I've come close to purchasing that a couple of times. I just haven't. Uh, there's Venom in that little figure series. They got any X-Men? They got the claw. I don't see anything else X-Men related. We got an Iron Man Legend up there. Some Black Widow and the, the Mark Model 01. If I can spit it out, Iron Man. What else we got? No X-Men small figures. Those seem to be pretty popular so far. They don't stay on shelves long. Uh, Black Widow. We got the Model 01 Iron Man. That one is pretty cool. That'd be a clearance pickup one of these days. This one I think is cool too. I don't see this one all the time. Scroll Queen, the Super Scroll. Especially at Super Scroll. He is pretty cool. I can see Iron Man. I can see Black Bolt. Mr. Fantastic with, with that one. Is that Gladiator or Strangest? cloak on him 
And then we got the Black Widow here. I think this one and the one and the Iron Man. These are or is this whole Wave Target exclusive. I'm not for sure. That's the comic Black Widow to me. She had a gray outfit on, especially. And then we got this one. I like that one because of Secret Wars Doom that comes with it. They don't have the Destroyer or um, Grey Hulk. Down there's their spots on the shelf. Who we got Spider-Man today. We got Miles. Miles and Ben Riley. We got the Marvel Boy. We got the Heroes Reborn Iron Man here. That's pretty cool. Man, I was really hoping for a Blue Beetle figure. Who else we got back there again? Oh, another Iron Man. What do they call that Hulk again? Totally awesome Hulk, okay. Okay. Oh, WWE. There's that Target exclusive Adam Cole again. Colin Mustafa. Undertaker's got a couple Brother Loves. Royal Rumbler. I don't think Brother Love would be down to 15. 39 already. Commas, no D-Lo. What do we got down through here? You got that Cad Bane two-pack thing there. I don't play Star Wars, in my opinion. It's ridiculously overpriced. Now they got to replace it for the new Turtle movie. Uh, what's back in here? Grief Karga, that thing. Got Cassian Andor. Indiana Jones got Sala there in the six inch figures. Now they got Sean Connery. A couple of him. They got the Sun Man. Master Verse. Three of him. Ooh, if you heard my stomach growling, I'm getting hungry. There's Sexy Shredder and Genghis. Bowser. Mutant Mayhem stuff. I'm gonna flip through those retro twiddles here in a second. Crane and then store chills. <sighs> no blue beetle, guys. No blue beetle. I hope I didn't overlook him again. We'll find it eventually, though. It's kind of hoping, too, to see that new Two Face and Two Faces Batman and that stuff today, but so far, no good. All right, let's head down here. No stock boxes out anywhere. Oh, that's not diecast. Uh, we got some more turtle stuff here. Mutant Mayhem. Such and such. Got some more turtles there. Looks like all storage shells. I got a shredder back there. Alright, what do we got here in the good old Hot Wheels? Eh. Sorry guys, just kind of checking these end caps again just to make sure I'm not overlooking anything. Um, there's a little Disney set of these things again. Got a stitch there, he's pretty cool. What do we got? What are these? These are new. I haven't seen these things before. I assume they're new. I haven't seen them before. Little indie cars. A Fast and the Furious police car. All right, we're not seeing anything up through there. Anything here behind us? Yep, Mario, or Cat Mario. Question block. There's the new Donkey Kong Stadium thing. That's pretty cool. The Bowser thing down there is cool too. All right, everybody, that's going to wrap us up in the main toy aisle. Um, Lego, I found that poly bag, so probably not going to look at any Lego. We've seen the new stuff that's out so far. Um, we're going to head over and check out the clearance end cap down here. If I see anything on it, I'll show it to you. If not, I'll probably see over in Collectors. Let's take a look at some clearance stuff. I don't think that Jurassic Park thing there is clearance yet. I don't think Ghost Rider is either. <sighs> I've scanned that thing several times. That hasn't been. We may try again today. And Hey, they got one of these over here. I wonder what it is. Those all were gone from at Bristol Target in a day. Of course, I figured they would be, but that's a reseller's dream right there is finding those holiday Lego sets on clearance. All the Black Panther stuff. And there's Titan Heroes Drax, 329. Be nice to see those X-Men figures like that someday, but 
well i've already bought them so not gonna help me out any maybe some of your other guys long game in it beast man is still 1650 here i uh, got some pokemon i want her setting up this little stuff over here in the middle got some more lego got atst there star wars lego set big atat question block the milano all right let's wander over here to collectors see what we can find i'm just gonna keep you on camera with me scanning in caps for blue beetles just sitting out randomly you know i thought it was this walmart last week where i found that it may have been johnson city or target not walmart anyways let's see what we got back here uh, we got the 3d jasons like the other one had all kinds of predators jaws south park Got that cool soft goods Freddy back there from New Nightmare. I uh, got Earth 2 Batman and Multiverse back here. I did find a lot of the Joker eyes stuff here. One business, still got Fei Long. There is Respirator Batman, Batgirl, uh, Respirator Robin, and a bunch of Respirator Batmans. Anybody looking for those new 66 waves? They're starting to hit. Looking forward to Superman myself. Uh, no two packs of comics. Or I got comics to spawn, but the Dark Knight Returns and all that, I'm not seeing yet. Parks and Rec figures. Justice League, Aquaman, and Martian Manhunter. It sounds like the rain has gotten here now. There's a bunch of Jason Lives, Wolfman, uh, Groot, Predators over in there, Rugrats, Pizza, Tom's Cards, Batman Grapple. Eh, looking like a strikeout today here, guys. I think that is going to do it for this target. I'm going to look around back here a little bit more just to make sure I don't have any more clearance in caps for one. If I do see anything, I will show it to you. But if not, I want to see you at a Walmart next. Walmart number two in Kingsport. Let's run in here. Let's see if we might find a Moss Man or a Vampire Superman. I don't want to buy it, but it'd be cool to see it. Maybe some more Keaton. Who knows? Let's go see what they got. Kingsport, Walmart. Where is this one? I just forgot where I'm at. A oh, Westone Drive. Let's see what we can find here. Got some Toidle stuff. See some Genghis. A lot of Genghis. Baxter. We got some up here. Let's say Genghis, Wingnut, and Screw Looses. And that's that new three pack. It is. That right there is going to be a purchase eventually, everybody. I want that dark side. Want it, want it, want it. Uh, what else we got? Here's a panther. Is he flocked? Oh, they do have a flocked panther. How about that? <laughs> uh, Baxter's. Oh, they got a couple of Venoms here. In this little series. That's pretty cool. I do like that Venom. I do. Oh, look here. Oh, man, it's been tore open all the pieces, but extremist iron, man. They got the Hulk. What else we got here? Older Marvel Legends. Molecule Man. He's... More recent thing that they got there. What else we got down through here? X-Men 97 Wolverine Claw. And they got the Wolverine. And they got Wolverine's mask. None of the little figures yet that I could see. And we don't have a Sentinel. Again, we're hoping to find a Moss Man. Look at all the Shazams up there. There's a Captain Adam. Man, I got a buttload of Captain Adam. This is the Walmart that had a lot of um, Beast Boy. That's where I found him. They had like 14 of those things at one point. So maybe they're going to get a lot of that one too. And not the vampire suits. There's another Captain Adam up top. I think I already saw that and commented on it. Shazam. They must have got a case of Shazam figures in. 
Now, there was a Walmart I was in where I opened a McFarland box and it was nothing but these. It'd be nice if it was a gold label. I can't remember that gold label was the second movie or the first one, but I think it was Walmart exclusive. There is our Captain Adam again. Second time we're seeing him today. Third time, I think the one had him in. Hot Man, Catwoman, Dark Detective, Armored. Oh, they got the variant. That's not the variant. Blue edition. Somebody's fix swapped that. And brought it back. I was kind of excited to see that one. Future State, Dark Detective. Yeah, you can see there where they've opened it. Oh, they ain't got this thing for five bucks. Man wants him one of those and he finds it on clearance. Are all these Captain Adams? They are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I see at least nine. I don't see that one. It may be. I don't know. I don't see that one being insanely popular. Vampire Superman is going to be a hitter on that one. And they don't have him. Oh, yeah, they do too. Thousand people are coming down through here now. Got three Superman. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look around that pole there. Death storms. Death strokes. There's some more. Can't tell what they are right now. Be right back. And we're back. Okay, we we're looking at these vampire Superman. Let's get them up here. We're gonna take a picture of him. Definitely. Oh, I could do a thumbnail picture too. There we go. Now let's step back and get us a shot of the aisle. We gotta have something I said for the thumbnail. So yeah, both gold labels here. That's cool. I found him in Kingsport last week at the other Walmart. Now he's here in this one. I just gotta find the new wave, um, the Batwing, uh, the Two Faces Batman, and there's another. Oh, Nightfall Batman. How can I forget that? I just feel it though in my collector's intuition. I'm gonna find that that wave or some of that wave in GameStop this week. Hopefully tomorrow. I'll probably hit that store tomorrow sometime. There's Ultimate Warrior back there, Ultimate Edition. This Walmart, you gotta scan the top. They keep a lot of stuff up top. There's some basic WWEs up there. Ruthless Aggression, Austin. Oh, uh, who's that? Oh, is it the Rey Mysterio? Ah, oh, Eddie Guerrero. And Ray, I haven't seen these yet. Ah, oh, the Eddie's cool. Check that out. Box is in decent shape, not the best. I haven't seen this yet. It's cool to see that Eddie Guerrero was awesome. Awesome, awesome wrestler. I remember watching him back on WCW Saturday night before he ever even started winning cruiserweight titles. Watching him and Dean Malenko. I used to love to watch those two wrestle. And there's the Ray. The Ray looks pretty cool too. We're definitely gonna take pictures of these two. I gotta get a better picture of them for the thumbnail. Eddie deserves a good photograph. That's cool. I don't collect those things, but it's cool to see Eddie especially. All right, get back here to our mode two. Get back into collector's mode here. We gotta find us a moss man. What is this thing? It's not moss man, but got my curiosity uh, back you gone I got a couple more of those dark side things there um, well I'm not seeing moss man collector's edition oh I don't believe it <laughs> yes check this out oh, I can't believe they got that thing I don't collect Mo too much, guys, but this figure, you have no idea when I was a kid. I love this thing, even though it stank. Let's see what he smells like. Oh, crap. I can't smell it through the box. The old one smelled like one of those pine tree air fresheners. You see, and like, check out. Oh, it's unpunched, too. They got two of them down here. Holy crap. This thing's 40 bucks. We're going to have to see which one's in good shop or good shape. Good shop. Oh, I about overlooked. Uh, storm shadow and they got spirit and then rock and roll but oh man i can't believe they got that thing <laughs> picking that up 
that is most definitely a pickup. That's what we came in here for. If I just would have found Blue Beetle, I would have found everything I was looking for this weekend. But hey, we'll find Beetle. Uh, we, also, I didn't say anything. This one wonders. I did check the Target app. It didn't show it to have it in stock in any of those stores. It's not showing it in stock in Bristol either, but I'll be checking there tomorrow for it. All right, guys, we're going to sign off. We're going to look at these Moss Men, see which one's in the better shape. And then we're going to be picking one of these up. And we'll move on to the next section. If I see anything, hey, I'll show it to you. If not, I'll see you at the next. I lied. I'm back. Oh, guys, if, any, right here in Chicago, if anybody's looking for these, they are hitting in some Walmart. It's the second time I found these things today. So be on the lookout for the Keaton Polybag Batman. It is around. We're going. There's another vampire super. Yeah, it's vampire Superman. Well, they got four of them. That's why he's labeled over here. We're going to take that back over to where it's supposed to be. And there is Moss Man. Oh, oh cool. Donkey Kong. I think I saw that. That's pretty cool. Okay. Okay, now we're really going to sign off. But I just wanted to show those poly bags. Two Walmarts today I found them in. So check your Walmarts. You seem to be getting them. We're going to zoom in on Moss Man one more time and be done. There we go, everybody. Weekend hunt. I'm getting out on Sunday today instead of Saturday. You know, yesterday, my brother, my wife, and I spent the whole day working on finishing my little outdoor building that I've insulated and run power to and going to turn it into a little man cave slash home office. Um, got it finished. Finally, all the big carpentry work is done. All I got to do is put the little racks up for my shelves, get my collection in there, and just get the cosmetic things done on the inside now. So hopefully here pretty soon I'll be able to do a room tour and show you some of the stuff that the man has collected over the years. And wow, I look like crap. It's been raining like crazy. It's finally dried up down here. But shoo, I've been, I went into, for the first place I went and it was raining, the wind was blowing on my left side. So my left side got soaked. Right side, pretty good. I think it was the target in Kingsport. When I walked in, it was going the other way. So it got this side of me and soaked everything. But hey, it's okay. It's got to brave the elements sometimes to get out and get the good stuff. Uh, what we've seen today, I just came out of the home base Walmart. I didn't record in here. Um, they didn't have anything new. I got to say, the home base here in Greenville, this place used to be a hotbed for finding all kinds of good stuff. This place, for lack of better terms, has sucked over the last little while. They haven't gotten any new restocks down here on anything. That Fighting the Frozen is the only thing they've really gotten out of almost any toy line that was new here in the last little while. Um, I mean, in wrestling, WWE, Walmart's all got that big wrestling end cap with ruthless, ruthless aggression. So I take it back. They have gotten some new stuff, but not like they used to on the multiverse, the Marvel Legends. Um, they've never had the Puff Adder Wave, anything like that down here in Legends. They used to be pretty, pretty high up on that. Don't know what's happened. Hopefully they picked the pace back up. Cause, hey this place is like five minutes from the house but i did have an off-camera pickup in there i'll show you lately I, that is a clearance figure a one that i've already got but i want one to take out of the box and again it's eight bucks on clearance for anybody who wants to start going on i should have left it for the other guy i'm hoarding i'm scalping you know whatever it's eight bucks i like to keep one of these in box and i just knocked it down the floorboard and i like to also open some of this stuff up but target in john or well we started walmart in johnson city that was the best walmart that one on West Market Street. We found a Keaton Batman in there. It was cool to see that. I uh, hadn't seen Keaton Batman in quite a while. I found it at Target and it books a million, I know. I had never found it in a Walmart though. So they had, the, they had the whole wave there outside of Supergirl. So I'm guessing somebody must've picked her up or they didn't get one of her in or maybe she was stuck behind something and I just didn't see it. But again, they did have the Keaton Batman there and Batfleck and stuff. So it's pretty cool there. They had Captain Adam. I didn't see Vampire Superman at that store, but you know, we did find some other cool stuff in there. Um, also, the, the Ninja Turtles, I knew there was something else. The Turtles, the two-pack Turtles, Donatello and Leonardo. That's the second week in a row. I think it was last weekend I found Raphael and Michelangelo there. So anybody looking for those Turtles, if you found that Raph and Mikey, they've got two two-packs of Donnie and Leo at the West Market Street, Johnson City. As of this, is on Saturday. I don't know what the date is, like August 5th or something like that. But go check it out and pick those up if you're looking for them. Uh, the Target in Johnson City, eh, it was a stinker, nothing there. Um, they had redone a lot of stuff, and reorganized and cleaned a lot of stuff up, which makes me think they're probably getting ready to get some restocks in where they're getting ready for some new stuff to come on the shelf, but they didn't have any Marvel Legends. They did have the female, the, Dare, the female, Lady lady Daredevil, that's what they call her. I was going to say female Daredevil and Lady Electra. That's not right. Put, put them together there, Lady Daredevil. 
I do like that figure. I want a long game of that. I'm hoping to find it on clearance here once, once they start putting those legends on clearance. And I think, let me know in the comments if you know, I think there's a tarantula in that wave as well. That new card is Spider-Man line. It's, uh, I'd like to find that if there is one. And then the animated stuff. I know the, the Rose, uh, I like to find that as well and pick that one up. But again, a lot of those legends, I usually try to long game until they get out and get those things on clearance. We'll see what we can find. Uh, next place you saw me, the other Walmart in Kingsport and Fort Henry Drive. They were restocking. They had a lot of boxes. I would like to know what was in those boxes. But they had employees all over them. I couldn't get over there. And again, I don't want to get into people's way when they're trying to do their jobs. So, you know, we didn't go try to get through those boxes. But what we did find in there was the poly bag, the, Bat the 92 Batman Forever poly bag. We finally, or not Batman Forever. Oh, my Lord, I want to do it. Batman Returns. We finally found that thing. I've seen it all over Facebook, all over YouTube. People were finding it. You can hear it's in my hands right now. Everybody knows I'm going to pick that up. I can't act like I didn't pick it up, but we did find that in that Walmart. Um, the Kingsport Target, again, not, not a whole lot in there either. I did scan some things. Uh, the big Batwing, uh, most Targets now seem to be clearing those things out. I didn't find it there on clearance, and they had the Cyborg Spider-Woman back in the clearance section, but it still scans at 60 bucks, so didn't find anything exciting in there. The last Walmart of the day, again, had, had what I really set out today to find, and that was the Master of the Universe, the Moss Man. You know, you saw, I had two of them there. It's the only Walmart I've seen those things in now, so I was very stoked to find that. And they also had the poly bag of the uh, nine, Batman Returns uh, Batman, so cool finds there with all that being said let's get down to what i picked up um i want to turn the camera off for a second i knocked the clearance figure i bought down here in the floorboard i'm not gonna make you watch me try to get it so i'll be right back guys my phone's doing some funky stuff today my camera i start recording and it just goes black but anyways we picked up the figure we got here and the camera's working again but clearance figure home base walmart eight dollars for ghostmaker we picked this up i've already got him in box i want one to take out of the box eight dollars on clearance i will pay that to have him I've got a lot of Batman I've opened up now and got out of the boxes. I think you can do some cool poses and stuff with Ghostmaker here. So I'm going to do that kind of thing now that I've got my little man cave to do that stuff in. But we did pick him up for eight bucks at the home base Walmart. The next pickup, Fort Henry Walmart, you know what it was. I picked up the Batman poly bag. Got the set number there, 30653, Batman 1992. Been seeing it all over Facebook, Lego groups, all over YouTubers, uh, Lego YouTubers. Glad to finally get this thing. And we'll get that put together and add that to the minifigure collection. Again, I'm a sucker for Keaton. Can't hardly do, live without picking up a Keaton if I see it. It really pained me to leave that Keaton Batman that multiverse figure in Walmart, but I did. I've already got all I wanted that figure, so I didn't pick it up. Uh, the pickup of the day. Boom. Moss Man. They got him sealed too good. You can't smell him. Like I said, I've got the, the original of this that came out back in the day, and the thing was ranked back then. I said, the memory serves. What it smelled like was one of those old air, uh, pine tree air fresheners you can buy most of the time at the checkout lines here in Walmart, but this one's supposed to have the same scent to it. It looks, as memory serves, just like the one I've got. Maybe a little better articulation. But you can look at the front of the... I don't know if you can see it inside the bubble there. All the fur has already came loose and is sticking to that bubble. That is awesome. This thing, I'm not going to lie, guys. This is overpriced. I should not have paid 40 bucks for this. But I did get the thing. Um, again, it should be the, the price of the regular retros, I guess. But I guess where he's got the flocked thing there. And this will probably end up on clearance from you know, my luck. But I wanted to get it. I was afraid I'd miss out on it. It seems to be a pretty hot button item now. And I've only found that one Walmart. and haven't seen it anywhere else. And look, it was unpunched. It's awesome. But those are the pickups for today. Um, Blue Beetle, gold label, Target exclusive. The only thing I didn't find. None of the Target stores on the app showed to have it in stock in my area. But still, I went to look. You never, you never know. But we didn't find it there. But hey, we'll get him here pretty soon whenever we find that. Oh, uh, I can't think of anything else to say everybody thank you for watching another man collects toy hunt uh this month august 26 you can find me at pipeville kentucky at the pipeville atomic atomic <laughs> pipeville toy and comic convention at the appalachian wireless arena again saturday august 26 starts at 10 a.m runs at 6 p.m never been to that show guys i hope it's a good one eric bischoff is still on the schedule to be there he's the reason i'm going i've got to figure i want to get autographed and he's an interesting uh, individual in my opinion, I'd like to meet him. So we're going to meet Eric Bischoff there. 
Uh, some other plugs, as you know, if you are not following The Man Collects on Instagram, you should be following The Man Collects on Instagram. You've got information right here. It shows you where to go to and what to type in on Instagram to find The Man Collects and see what we're posting there on Instagram. And as usual, everyone, if you are that first time viewer to this content, you've came back multiple times, you enjoy all the stuff that I throw on here, consider clicking subscribe if you have not and check out what's coming down the pipe here on the YouTube channel. With that being said, guys, it's been a great weekend. I hope you had a good weekend. Everyone have a good week since you'll be watching this on Monday. And the man collects. We'll see you next time.